interviews. Natalie interviews. Natalie interviews. Natalie interviews. Hey everyone, it's Natalie here with NatalieInterviews.com and I'm with Romy Dames. You guys might recognize her from Hannah Montana. She plays Tracy. How are you? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So the New Year's just started out. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Oh my gosh, I have so many. Um, my big resolution this year is that I've just decided to have no expectations. I'm not trying to plan my life as much. I'm trying to just like let everything happen. That way it's more exciting. As each thing comes along, I'm like, ooh, I get this, and that like happens every day. <laughs> what about any New Year's goals? I really, really, really want to be on Sesame Street. That's my New Year's goal. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I want to work with Muppets. <laughs> yeah, we were at Disneyland the other day, and we, they had like the 3D show. The I show. love the 3D show. I'm at Disneyland at least once a week. <laughs> So, um, you play Tracy on Hannah Montana. What's it like working on a show like Hannah Montana? Because I love that show. I love working on a show. It's incredible. The writers are amazing. Um, the cast is incredible. Everyone's very like laid back, and it's a fun set to be on. It's very family-oriented. People bring in their siblings and their kids. It's a great place to be. So you seem like really nice, unlike your character. <laughs> so do you guys have any similarities? Um. I'm pretty much 180 degrees Tracy's opposite. <laughs> um, I do like cute things though. I feel like her parties are always really, really cute. The set separators do an amazing job. If I could live my life like Tracy in the fact that I would have like her wardrobe and <laughs> her sets, I'd be totally into it. <laughs> so do you have any upcoming projects you could tell us about? Um, well, Hannah Montana's last season starts now. January. Um, so hopefully I'll be in a couple more episodes before the season ends. It's going to be about like 14, 15 more episodes. Um, and other than that, I don't know right now. We'll see. Like the last season of Hannah Montana is going to end? The last season, as far as I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the last season. You also just released your single, Christmas List of Excuses. How did that come about? Um, well, to be <laughs> perfectly honest, I was thinking about all of the really, really bad Christmas songs that I knew. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally do that. <laughs> so then I decided to do Christmas List of Excuses, which was actually really, really fun. It was a goofy little song, and um, my goal was to be a one-hit wonder. <laughs> He's still working on it. <laughs> Help me out, guys. Every Christmas. Very cool. So we have a few fan questions for you that were sent in from Twitter. Awesome. So Lizzie wants to know, how did you come up with the voice of Tracy, and what was the audition process like for Hannah Montana? Totally. Um, the reason I came up with a voice for Tracy is because I'm kind of naturally bubbly and happy, <laughs> and I knew that if I went in there and just read the lines as myself, they would never cast me. <laughs> so I decided... I do a lot of sketch comedy, and with my sketch comedy, I do different voices. Like, I do impersonations, and um, sometimes doing a different voice helps me get into a character. So I came up with this crazy Tracy voice with my acting coach, and it really got me into the snobby <laughs> sort of feel. So every time I talk like this, I start feeling a little more snobby. <laughs> Oh, and the audition process. Um, so they called me in uh, for that first episode, and it was just supposed to be a pretty small part. It was like two small scenes. Um, the audition process was about three auditions. It was the first audition, then I came in for a callback, and right away we went into a mix and match, mm -hmm. which is where they try you out with different people. Oh. Um, I was doing a scene with someone named... Evan, the character's uh -huh. name was Evan, and so they had different Evans and different Tracys, oh. like mixing and matching. Uh -huh. um, and then I got cast for the part, and by the end of the week, my part just like grew. They like explained why I sounded like Tracy. Uh -huh. They talked about how I had a deviated septum, oh, so they cool. had to add all these extra scenes, and they are like, you know, we're gonna call you back, we're gonna have you in more episodes. Oh and I was like, okay, <laughs> and they did, so it was like an actor's dream come true. Awesome. And it wants to know if you will be on season four of Hannah Montana. Um, so far as I know, I'm, they told me one or two more episodes, uh -huh. um, but that's not guaranteed, so oh. 
Fingers crossed, we're, guys. We love you, by the way, on that show. Oh, You're amazing. Thank you. I love uh, being on it, so I really, really want to do a few more episodes. So, um, do you have any social networks where your fans could reach you, talk to you? Yes. Um, I am on Twitter, and my Twitter name is the Romy Dames because somebody already took Romy Dames oh. with my picture. Poser. <laughs> so it's T H E, and then my name R O M I D A M E S. Um, I'm also on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Romy Dames. And I'm on MySpace, but you know what? I never check it anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us today. Yay, thanks for having me. I'm Natalie with natalieinterviews.com, and I will see you guys next time.